ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Womble Watch. And oh, yeah, yeah, these videos keep on coming, but I tell you what, you can tell the energy and optimism is slowly leaking out of me, folks, with each passing match, unless we pull our fingers out. Let's get into it. Burton Albion, away from home. We lost 3 0. Stephen Quinn got the first goal for Burton, uh, for Burton Albion after around 34 minutes. Uh, his first one since April 2016. He would wait until now to break the deadlock, wouldn't he, on his uh, goals. Uh, his first full game since uh, coming over to Burton Albion. Appiah had a good chance. Piggott had a really good chance, which he headed into the ground and then went over. David Templeton, he doubled Albion's lead around the 54th minute. Uh, Will Nightingale... Um, basically got robbed and uh, the goal was set up from there and then Boyce he got his fifth of the season on the hour uh, thanks to a link up between Templeton and Fraser so let's look at the lineup here I'm going to be honest with you I, I was quite happy uh, with the lineup I think uh, we'll, we'll go through it so uh, King, Watson, Deji, Nightingale, Perrington, uh, Wagstaff, Trotter, Wordsworth, Barcham, Appiah and Piggott. So uh, the new boy, Jervis, he got on. He came over from, uh, I think it was Ply Plymouth. I think it was Plymouth Argyle. I I've seen him play a couple of times against us. Um, a lot of Plymouth fans have said, don't get too excited. But I, yeah, we, we, we will see. You know, we don't judge a book by its cover. It depends on how he wants to play for us. Is it going to be a different formation that might suit him? Obviously, Neil seen something in him. And uh, we, we hope he's right in that. Um, so let's let's just talk about this are we being blinded by our own loyalty to the club folks because let's be honest and let's be real honest with ourselves now i i love the club i love what neil has done i love what eric has done and i'm proud that we've got a club to call our own however are we being blinded by our own loyalty here in accepting subpar performances and basically writing them off as unlucky or constantly blaming the ref and we've done a lot of that recently don't get me wrong the refs the refs have not been great but it gets to a point where we have to say jesus is, is this our own doing here is this because of us i will be the first person to say you know what we got unlucky but it's getting to the point now where maybe we're just not being quite to that standard that we should be in this league it's as simple as that I hear so much on social media, on Twitter. Oh, God, we had a great game today. A uh, real, really good performance. The players are linking up really well together. Some great passes, some great opportunities. But we lost. Therefore, all of that stuff you said before probably is, well, your own opinion and not so much the truth. Because at the end of the day... If you're going to have a fantastic game, it's going to be a really, you know, a real standout, brilliant game. I would say that we should be expected to win said game. We can't be saying to ourselves, oh God, it was a quality game. Team looking absolutely fantastic. Neil really had the tactic spot on there and we lost. No, that doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. And I, I have a feeling if it hasn't happened already, I haven't checked social media today, but I have a feeling the uh, Ardley Out Brigade are kind of getting their banners ready at the moment. <sighs> Me, personally, we've got an interesting run of games coming up. We really do. I think we've got a, an excellent chance to get our season back on track uh, by actually not competing in the league. Uh, with the Checker Trade Trophy uh, against Charlton, away from home, uh, I think, oh, I think uh, midweek. But it'll be interesting to see. I think that if we can go out there, really perform and win the game... I think that will really give us a huge boost of confidence going into games against Gillingham, etc. So, um, let me know what you think. I want the club to do well. It's Of course, it's my club. I want them to do well. But I think we maybe have to start being a little bit honest with ourselves here. And maybe criti criticising the team just a little bit. Rather than thinking the sun shines out their arse constantly. Okay? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course, I'll be really interested to hear what you guys think. I always am. I'll be at the Gillingham game. So I cannot wait to see some of you there. <sighs> I would say that's all for this episode of Womble Watch. So long for now, folks.